This video is about how to draw 2D shape sketched using the line tool and then converted it into 3D. The dimensions are in millimeters. Hi, welcome to our channel, Design Engineers. Support us by clicking on subscribe button and bell icon. Start a new part document, select the front plane, and create a sketch plane. Define the dimensional units as millimeters, mmgs. Before start sketching you should save document, to save document click the file tab at the top of the drawing screen. A drop down menu will appear. Click the save tool. Or, you can directly click on save icon. The save dialog box will appear. Enter the file name for example exercise. Click the save box. After saving first time, during sketching you should save document time to time. Click the line tool. Select the origin as the starting point for the first line. The line command will generate a series of chain lines, where the end point of a sketched line becomes the starting point for the next line, until the line's end point is defined by pressing the escape key or right clicking the mouse and clicking the select option. If you want command should automatically cancelled after drawing a single line. Go to options and click the checkbox single command per pick. Make each line slightly larger than the required dimension. If it is smaller than required then also no problem. Exact values are not required. The double circle relation icon that appears when the end of there. Last horizontal line drawn is located on the starting point of the first line. This is the concentric relation icon. The concentric icon indicates that there. Two points occupy the same location. When you are in command every line show midpoint, there is no need to find midpoint of line through calculation. Click the smart dimension tool and dimension the shape by. Clicking each line and entering the given dimensional value. SOLIDWORKS is sensitive to how the dimensions are entered. First add the sketch relation according to shape. Then add dimensions to complete shape. You can show object with and without sketch relations. To remove the sketch relations icon. Click the view tab at the top of the screen. Click the hide or show option. Click the sketch relations option. 2D shapes should always be fully defined before creating 3D models. Now creating 3D model. The fully defined shape shown can now be used to create a 3D model. To create a 3D model click the features tab. Click the extrude boss, base tool. Define the depth as 40 millimeters. Click the green OK check mark. Click the drawing screen and click on save icon. To watch our more videos subscribe our channel and press bell icon. If you like this video press like button and share to your friends. Here you can learn solid works from beginning to expert level as much short time as possible. Thanks for watching.